Okay, so I just wanted to share some of my experiments and um, I would be interested to hear what people have to say about um, this experiment um, because I'm seeing some increase in voltage and increase in current um, with about one milliamp uh, current increase and half a volt of current loss um, and it looks very strange to me so I thought I'd make this video and um, see if I can get people's opinion on what's going on here um, so I'll detail this box um, probably in the next or within this clip I'll um, insert the description of that um, this is my um, Caddisius pancake coil that I've built. This is my new invention, my new coil. Um, and this is a piezo transduce, transducer um, at uh, resonance frequency is 28 kilohertz. Um, and this is just a dual fifth circuit. There's a 5 watt, 220 volt UK mains light bulb on a ceramic base. Um, I will add a schematic of this connection um, in the description so people can see how it's all connected together. Um, so this is just currently this setup here is just a dual fifth connected to the output. Um, and I'm going to show you the waveform. Okay, so currently the volt peak to peak is 20 volt and the waveform looks like this um, and it is uh, minus 3 volt and max is 15 volt so peak to peak 19 volt. This is what's coming out of the dual fifth. Um, Here we go. This is what's coming out of the jaw fifth. Um, and that's just standard jaw fifth um, pulse. And the we can look at the duty. So it's a 10% duty cycle and 91% off. Um, just uh, an idea on the power consumption here. 11.67 volt at uh, this current row is not correct. This is coming from my power supply and for some reason it's not accurate. So I've got the current uh, hooked up from the positive uh, wire from the power supply. Uh, so in line. So this is the correct current row. It's 225 milliamp. 224, 225. It fluctuates a little bit. And the voltage is 11 volt, 11.68 volt, okay. Um, now I'm going to connect um, the John Bedini's magnet coil. And you can see currently peak to peak is just 20 volt or 19.2 volt, okay. And I want you to look at the brightness of the light when I do this. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, so the brightness of the light has gone up by a lot, and I'll, I'll do that again. Probably by twice as much, or um, more than twice as much. Um, so it's gone super bright. Um, I want you to have a look at the 
readings now so I'm gonna auto set because this is inaccurate so I'll just auto set again okay that's a bit better so now the volt peak to peak is 62 volts okay so we've got an increase of uh, 42 volts okay what's also interesting is the mean voltage is minus 32 volt we had minus 3 volt before so now we've got an actual swing of minus 32 plus 30 so it's um it's a nice negative and positive swing again increase of 42 volts now i want to show you the power draw here um, and it hasn't changed really uh, we're still at 225 milliamp and the only thing that has changed is the voltage it was at 11.69 and now it's at 11.3 so it's 0.3 of a volt it dropped we've got a gain of 42 volt and we've got a clear increase in brightness with the same current draw okay so this this uh is anomalous uh this here this um john bedini's magnet coil is anomalous does not make any sense as this is an inductor so that's the first thing i wanted to show you and i'd like your opinion on this now the second thing um is the piezo um everybody's been talking about piezo and everybody's right rightfully so um need to talk about the piezo so here is a piezo transducer i'll turn the light off again so um just the voltage reading again it's 11.33 volt and the current reading is 0.225 milliamp now the piezo transducer um will only resonate at uh, its resonance frequency so this is or sorry it will only resonate at its resonance frequency or an octave of it so half octave or one octave above so this piezo uh, a resonance frequency is 28 kilohertz um and at the minute the uh system here its resonance is at 32 kilohertz okay and the voltage peak to peak is 62 volt um, by the way I've probably forgot to show you what this the waveform look like or the signal looks like um, it looks like this at the moment so that's with the John Bedini's magnetic coil um, so this is completely different from the pulsed dual fifth signal that we had before now we've got a huge negative swing and a positive swing uh, but also it um, looks like there's a lot more noise um, and we can check the duty cycle so now it's 67% duty on time and 32% off um, but we're getting a huge increase in brightness and in voltage and we have the same current row and we've got 0.3 of a volt that has gone down so again this is anomalous and so this is what the signal looks like um, okay and the volt peak to peak is 62 volt uh, now going back to the piezo i'm going to connect the piezo this time so what we've got is we've got the um output of the dual fifth so it's um sort of high voltage and the frequency is 32 kilohertz at the moment it's going to the john bedini's john sorry john bedini's magnet coil okay back again um 
just uh, looking at the piezo. So I'm going to connect the piezo and um, so the voltage is 62 volt peak to peak, current row is 0.225 milliamp and voltage is 11.33 volt. Uh, I'll connect the piezo now. Again, the, I don't know if you've noticed, but the brightness of the light um, is much, much, much brighter now than with just the John Bettini's magnet coil. And the voltage, I'll just try to auto set it again. Okay, so there's a bit of a swing currently between 69 volt and up to 80 volts. Um, I'm gonna try to st stabilize this if I can. Um, the voltage uh, is um, between 68 and 80 volts. I'm gonna show you the current draw quickly. And the current draw has not changed. It's still 0.225 million. And the voltage um, from the original dual fifth, the voltage has gone down by 0.3 volt. Um, so with the piezo and the John Bettini coil, um, we're getting a lot more output um, and I'd be interested to hear your comments. Um, so let me know what you think um, and thank you for watching.